many times I've been called out throughout my career? Tons. He, this guy ain't going to make no difference. I'm, I've got bigger fish to fry. Former, I'll be a former world champion in... Hi all, it's Lost D Punch Out TV. Back at you with a quick video. Taking a week or two off, so sorry for the lack of videos. Um, just quickly, what I talk about. Um, I seen this on a boxing website on uh, Facebook, but I've seen it on a couple of them. I haven't been able to find. Um, the interview but to be honest I haven't really looked for it but apparently Conor Ban has come out and said uh, he's calling out or whatever he said he wants to fight Cal Brook or Amir Khan as he wants a good domestic level fight and uh, he looks up to these two fighters and he would like to Fight one of them, Brooke Orcon, and he's not bothered. Well, just let me stop it there. You said you wanted a good domestic level fight. Okay. You've been chasing Josh Kelly uh, for a, a couple of months or six months, something like that, calling him out saying that you wanted to fight him. That was a domestic level fight, yeah, I understand that. But Josh Kelly just got uh, iced off David Anavisian, or whatever his bloody name is. Anavisian. He got stopped in six rounds. You were both undefeated, that was a big payday fight, yeah, I understand that. And, you know, it would have been a good fight. Still is a good fight. But what makes me laugh is... That he's calling out Amir Khan and Cal Brook, who in my eyes are over the hill. They're washed up in my eyes, especially Amir Khan. I think I think Amir Khan is well past his sell-by date. And uh, I don't think Cal Brook's got much to offer anymore. Not after watching him against Bud Crawford, especially at 147 anyway. Like I say, I'm, I'll probably get criticised for this video, but do you know what? The way that boxing's making me feel at the moment in time, I don't give a shit, I'm going to speak how I feel about it. I've got nothing against Conor Ben. I think he's a great fighter. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because it's okay for him to call out other fighters, old fighters like Amir Khan or Cal Brook. Yet... You've got a guy, Florian Marku, who's been calling you out for well over a year. And uh, he's snapping at your ankles every time he keeps calling you out. So let's just have a quick listen to what he's got to say. Obviously in the studio tonight, uh, just in case he didn't hear what you were shouting, what was your message to him? I say to him before I stop the fight, I make him a look. And after the fight, I say to him, come here. Listen, Conor Ben. She never take like this risks. I start proving myself in Greece back then for 10 years, fighting the best. I beat the best guys in Greece. Now Conor Ben will never risk his record with me. I'm going in there to die. And Conor Ben knows that and she will never fight me. Till she choose opponents with eight losers. Of course, if I fight with someone with eight losers, they doesn't care to lose one more time. But me, I'm undefeated and Conor Ben will never take me. Well done tonight. So there you have it. Just a, a quick clip of it because I don't want to play too much because knowing YouTube they'll probably stop my video. But that that's just one of the many times that um, Florian Marcoux has called out Conor Ban 
and Conor Ban just responding with he's got bigger fish to fry. Well, let me just put this in my words. End of the day, you're unbeaten, Conor Ben. You've got 17 wins and 11 knockouts, and you're unbeaten. Marcus got uh, had nine fights. He's got eight wins, one draw, and six knockouts. You're both undefeated. You're both welterweight. You're both from the UK. Well, Marcus from Albania, but he's fighting out of the UK. You're both under the matchroom banner. You're both Sky Sports fighters and Eddie and uh, Matroom fighters. Why not make this fight? There's no point in fight chasing the likes of uh, Amir Khan, who's shot to hell, and Cal Brook, who's washed up. Why not fight Florian Marku? It's a great domestic fight, what a lot, hell of a lot of British people want to see. He's continuously calling you a coward. I'm not saying you are a coward, I'm just saying what Marcusi. He's continuously calling you a coward, saying he wants to fight you. All you come out with is you've got bigger fish to fry. And there was another interview, but I can't be asked to find it and put it in the video. But there was an interview not so long ago where you were saying no one knows who he is. He's deliberately come from Frank, under Frank Warren's promotions to join Eddie Earn. I'm not saying deliberately just to make the fight, but he, he he's left Frank Warren, joined Eddie Earn, probably for a better career. But the guy is constantly calling you out. I watched after he he beat Rylan Charlton uh, in February. He, he called you out again, and the guy keeps on all social media platforms keeps saying. You're a coward, you don't want no smoke. Now this to me is ducking in full effect. This is the ducking season. Conor Ben doesn't want you I've just been combing up and down this internet at the on this channel looking at these comments and it there was one guy who pointed out that why why doesn't he fight Marku? There was one guy out of all the uh, comments what were on these two different uh, websites. And that's exactly what I've been saying for a long time. Why is he not fighting Conor Ben? That's a great domestic fight, that. A great domestic fight. And the money, there'll, there'll be money in it because at the end of the day, people over here are taking to Mark who for reason, no nonsense attitude. And he's constant, constant calling out of fighters. But it seems to me that Conor Ben seriously does not want to fight this young lad. He's only he's 28. You're younger than him. Fight him. Make the fight. It's a, it's a it's a fucking brilliant fight to be made. This a great domestic British domestic level fight. And then the winner moves on to bigger, better things. But for me, this is ducking in full effect. And and and, and that's definitely what it is. Conor Ben is definitely ducking Florian Marku 100%. He doesn't want that smoke with Marku. But uh, yeah, this website just made me laughing, calling out Connor, um, Kel Brook and um, Amir Khan, who, like I say, Amir Khan's probably in his wheelchair because he's retired or he's on a Zimmer frame or something. He's an old man, well past it. And Kel Brook's not far behind. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to get up out of here. Peace, catch you on the next one. <laughs>